All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. So today I'm going to be debuting a phone uh, that's probably one that so many people could use. But the question is, will they? Now, this is the Duji V Max. This phone right here is not just any other rugged style device. I've debuted a lot of rugged style devices on this channel. This has got to be the most high end rugged device I've ever shown you as the Dimensity 1080. And that's a six nanometer chip. Obviously, it's 5G. A 6.58 inch full HD plus 120 hertz display, a triple camera setup with 108 megapixel and a 20 megapixel and a 16 megapixel. And that's a Sony IMX 350, obviously. <clears throat> a 22,000 milliamp hour battery with 33 watt fast charging. Tell me that's not crazy right there, all, right off the rip. A 32 megapixel, another Sony camera, 12 gigs of RAM, and up to 8 gigs extended through the RAM Plus system. 256 gigs of storage, UFS 3.1, IP68, IP68, IP69K, Military 810, finger mounted uh, reader on the side, NFC, Corning Gorilla Glass, and the only thing that some people might find on is Android 12. But let's crack this seal and let me show you what you've been missing. This device is one that um, I was talking to E and I was like, man, I got to hurry and put that footage out. And, you know, with the way the launches are, I want to stagger how I put out stuff because the, the, the Galaxy S23 launches are coming and people are going to be so shined on that. But there are people that are going to want to use this phone now right off the rip. <laughs> Just going to go ahead and throw it out there. This phone is not for everybody. It is not for everybody because of this reason right here. This thing is a freaking tank. It is, it is a freaking tank. Look at how thick this is. And to put it into perspective, here's my iPhone 14 plus I was just holding. You can see how it is almost two and a half times the thickness, if not three times the thickness. It is a ginormous phone. But this is a tank. And this video will be in several pieces. It won't be just me unboxing and showing it to you. I'm going to have to charge this. I want to charge it up. I'm going to take you through it, but I want to charge it up. I want to get some use in this. So you'll see this video will probably be over several days more than likely. I'm not sure yet. Here's a, um, a specialty button right here. You can program more than likely. This is where your, your SIM tray goes uh, and your SD card if you decide to do that with, a, with an SD card because it does have one. On this side, you get your volume rocker and the power button with the fingerprint reader. And this is metal and on these things held together by screws. Now, if you look up here, right here, you got your, your type C down there, which is so nice that it has type C. And up top, you've got these ginormous corner stops on here, man. These are just ridiculous. And then look at the way the speaker setup is. That grill is just beautiful and how it, how it works. So, Man, I am telling you, this is going to be an experience. Now, this obviously is the black version. When you look around the back here, you've got that 108 megapixel version there, a camera on there with a 20 and a 16. And then you also got that 32 in the front. So I'm going to power this on. And this back of this phone, man, this is like a metal little, I'm pretty sure it's plastic, but it feels metal. This is probably metal on that portion right there. Obviously, this is metal, but this is just so different that it's it's hard to believe that phones like this in the US won't take off. Again, because of those standards that we put on ourselves. I can get this off. Let's see. Oh, I was peeling off the screen protector. Ooh. Nothing like look how fast that booted up. I mean, this is a six nanometer chip. You got your warranty card, as Flossie would do. My man Flossie be flucking, flucking the paper. It gives you an additional screen protector. And this is a thick screen protector. Some paperwork here to put the screen protector on if you have to change it. Your manual. And then you got your Type-C. Uh, Type-C to Type-C. And then here is their charging brick right here, 33 watt fast charger. But I have a 100 watt charger that I will be using with it. I won't even use that. I'll just use my 100 watt charger uh, and, and, and do it like that. So, wow, this thing is freaking crazy, man. Uh, let me get my Wi-Fi signed in here. 
All right, so it looks like it already has 99% on here. Oh, get ready to get going. I'm gonna show you these cameras to, in this video too, or some of them. God, this thing is incredible. This is a tank. This is three phones stuck together. This is just all battery right here. This is crazy. Um, I don't think I wanna copy anything right now. I'll just sign into everything individually. I wanna get into the phone. This is, I've been waiting to bring you this footage. Like I said, I actually have another device that I'm not allowed to show yet. Um, let me sign in real quick because I am getting ready to use this. All right, it's signing in. Whoa. Yeah, I have so much on my plate, man. I, I really want to show you this, this, this tank of a phone here. This is like, you know, they're guaranteeing like, what, 60 days of standby, I think. But normal use is actually only a week. So this has a 22,000 milliamp hour battery inside, folks. Normal usage, you're getting, you're guaranteed five days to seven days. Uh, and so we're going to, we're going to put that to the test. It came at 99%, but after this video, I'm going to go ahead and charge it to a hundred percent. Always do this, my generic pen that I use for videos. Um, I'm going to go ahead and charge it to a hundred percent and then we'll, 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 I'll report back to you, but let's go ahead and do the face because it has face. Obviously, that's not really secure, but um, let's go ahead and do finger. And this should have stock Android, folks. It should have stock Android. We're going to see. It's going. This is a stock Android setup here, so uh, we'll see how this plays out. Finger moved too slow. It wants me to go fast. Do some of you guys do fingerprint readers and rotate fingers to see if you can get it to unlock like that? Hey, this fingerprint, it wants you to go fast. Let's add another one real quick. I'm going to add this one. When I have fingerprint readers that are on the side like this, I do it. I add these two fingers on all phones. So my Samsung phones that have a side mounted fingerprint reader, this is this is what I use. It depends on how I'm actually holding the device or whatever I'm doing. Obviously, I'm right-handed, but I do a lot with my left hand, so that's why I always do this. All right. All right, we're done with that. All right, so we're going to get into this. And I'm going to skip this for now because I don't have, feel like having all of my devices go off. But it came at 99%, man. Um, this shipped from China. Um, and it has NFC. We'll skip that for now and we'll hit no thanks and get into the device. So, um, we're going to go with gestures. We're not going to do three button and boom, here it is. Whoa, this is crazy. So right now it looks like everything's on the one page. Uh, but let's see if we can get into the home screen settings. We'll go ahead and remove this. Can you remove this? Yeah, you can. I don't like to have the Google bar up there uh, for some reason. I, I just don't like to have it up there. Let's get into the home page and let's see if we can do home. Here we go. Default. Boom. There it is. So now I swipe up. Boom. There it is. That is what I was looking for. Now, the only thing I'm worried about now is I probably won't be able to um, have five across. That really sucks when that happens. Yep. No five across. So I, I'll, I'll have to put a launcher on here, but let's get into the settings here. Uh, I'm gonna show you the. I'm gonna try to make it a point to show you the cameras in this video. Uh, so you got other wireless connections. There's your NFC. It's still turned on. I'm gonna turn NFC off because NFC does kind of work the battery just a little bit. Uh, you know when you're when you're having that on there. But let's, let's get that off. You got your notification. You got your display. Let's go dark mode. We're going dark on them, and we're gonna go ahead and go timeout. Let's put that to 10 minutes. And LED. Yep. Screen, here we go. You can go 90, 60, or 120. So let's go ahead and bump that to 120. Isn't that beast mode right there? Folks, do you see this? Do you see this? And we're talking about a phone that's a rugged phone like this. Anything's possible. By today's standards, you can get it done. All right, so I got display size. Let's see if I can change that and get five across by putting the display size down. Oh, we got lift to wake. 
Got lift awake. Let's see if that does it. Can I get, can a brother get five across? Nope. No five across. Hmm. All right, let's go back in the sense. You got your Google feed over there too. Let's go ahead and put the display size back to where it was since I still don't get no five across on there. All right. Default. Now everything's back up. I need to make the font bigger. Um, don't, don't clown me. Um, I got to see my font. There we go. Even with my bifocals on. So you got your lock screen. You can add a personal message, show device controls, wake screen for notifications. Let's do these right here. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to put it, I'm going to use this as though I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to use this. I want to see what is, what's, what's going to happen. So let's get into wallpapers. These are the wallpapers that you got. Pretty basic uh, wallpapers, nothing fancy. We've seen these wallpapers on other devices. I think I'm going to probably just use that one that was, oh, okay. No, I haven't seen these on other devices. Okay, look at this. These rocks or fruit or what is it? <laughs> okay. These look like one plus wallpapers right here. Let's go back to the default wallpaper. That's clean enough for me. All right, so let's get out of here and let's go down to sound. Let's go to ring volume. Oh, I mean call volume. Ring volume. Whoa. This has stereo speakers. I had to check for myself. I'm, I'm tilting in and listening. Right, let's check the stereo speakers on here. Wow. I don't know about that funky time. That's super lame. Gimme Motown. His name in this junk. I like a basic. I like something like that. Let's go to Lyra. Okay, let's go. That's that's just to test out the speakers. Speakers on here are are crazy crazy loud. I gotta admit. Let's go vibrate always. Wait, nope. Let's go back here, vibrate always. And vibrate, screen lock sounds, touch sounds, nah. Sound enhancements, high five, okay, high fidel, okay. All right, so let's go to security. Obviously I got all that up to date here. I got my face, my finger and everything in there. And let's see here, it says everything is up to date. We'll check that. And you got your app, you got your battery. Here is the battery, man. The battery percentage is inside the status bar, and right now it's at 98%. I don't really like that. Um, I like to have the battery on the outside. So I'm a, I like a clean battery like that if I, if I can't have it on the outside. So it's at 98% though. Um, and then when I hang up, when I hang up, when I stop this video, I'm gonna charge it up all the way, then I'm gonna get into my official usage. Gotta put my SIM card in it though. Let me get my SIM card out of my Ziggy Ziggy Z flip. Cause this was my device I was using. I'm going to use this bad boy. I owe you guys a week with this phone. It won't be tough. All right. Because I want to show you. I want to see what that 5G do also. So let's see here. Let's see what that 5G do. This is the Dimensity chip. All right. Oh, we can test that fingerprint reader too. All right. So storage here, you can see 256 gig. Only 13 gigs is used. The system only uses 4 gigs of the storage that's crazy you can see you got hd up there now looks like on the top it'll probably switch to 5g in a little bit i'll turn off wi-fi but while i'm up here yep there's your 5g and you can see while i'm up here you got all your information here this is really nice i'm feeling this this thing has battery saver why <laughs> flashlight boom there we go and you've got i was in storage i was in storage showing you the storage here doesn't use a lot man i'm surprised Accessibility, same old thing. It even has extra dim mode. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. Privacy, side key function. Here we go. Here's where you can program this key to do different things. And that's this key over here. Now, I keep those turned off. And I'm glad this one is set for default for nothing because I always accidentally do it. I always hit it. So let's go with a long press for the flashlight. You know what I'm saying? And just show you here. There you go. And that's not a real, that's not a, a, a real long press either. That was pretty quick, but you can set that key how you want it. Fingerprint reader. You, here's how you can uh, use the fingerprint reader. You can return to the back. And this is by touching the fingerprint reader. You can touch the fingerprint sensor to return to the back screen, basically go back. You can press the uh, 
press and hold to go back on there. Recent task, take pictures and video. That's pretty dope. But again, for me, I'm always I'm always hands on. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to mess nothing up, and so that's why I don't want to use that those functions. But they are there for you. Obviously, digital well being. We know what this is about. Uh, memory expansion. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put this up to eight. And it restarted on me. I didn't even get a chance to adjust it. But let's let's check out the restart here. But yeah, I'm excited to bring you this phone. And I'm gonna show you the, the cameras in here and uh we're gonna we're gonna get it popping. It actually started up really fast. This is a heavy phone, folks. This is this is no joke. This is a brick. This is a tank. But this is for somebody who needs a lot of battery life. And I'm gonna see if I can get five to seven days out of this without charging it. Again, the standby time is 30 to 60 days. So it starts up pretty quick and it gets in there. That, that Dimensity chip is actually pretty quick. And I'm gonna get get going in here and go back to um, the uh, memory expansion. Let's see here, there we go. I didn't even get a chance, it was still down on three. So we're rebooted again, now we on eight. Now we got technically 20 gigs, that booted up really fast. That booted up at like pixel speeds. And I'm gonna update the apps and everything so I can get all my my um, uh, icons and everything to be up to date with Google. Uh, and um, we're gonna we're gonna set this thing off. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be pretty different for me. Uh, using this for a week is not gonna be hard. It's just um, got to get used to carrying around this tank right here. Cause you know me, I like small, thin phones, light phones. That's why I carry my Z Fold, my Z Flip. Uh, because it's a small, lightweight device. But Duji has come a long way, man. This is this is crazy right here. This is a phone that I think a lot of people will be interested in if they give it a chance. I'm going to show you the cameras. I know you're probably saying, Jay, show me the cameras. I'm going to show them to you. So now we go down to memory expansion, and now I got plus 8 gigs. So when the storage... Um, so the storage of the uh, fuel switch is insufficient. The storage space can be expanded. Boom, boom, boom. You already know what that's about. It's like it's just RAM plus. Then you got your Dura Speed. But do people use Dura Speed? I, I don't. Do people use Dura Speed? It's been on Dura Speed has been on phones for a very long time, but I don't know if people actually use them. Do you? I don't know. All right, and that's it. So let's go to system. Let's go to system update and see if there's an update. Check for updates. Oh, let's get on Wi-Fi. It wants me to get on Wi-Fi to check that update. All right. It's checking for updates. System is up to date. All right, so then, all right, as you can see here, it's on Android 12, the November security patch, and an April security patch for the actual um, uh, uh, Play Store. So let's go into the Play Store. Update my apps, because I know they're out of date, yep. And then all these icons right here are gonna change to the newer icons. You can see they're all they're all the all the new Google stuff. Yep, see there's your message on your phone, all that stuff. It's all changing. All going to the good stuff. I'm gonna put uh Pix Launcher on here. I, I do not like the Google launcher. Um I I just I mean this this four across, I mean. I don't I don't like the four across. It's just super annoying. Uh but it is what it is for now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that after the video. When I follow up in the next follow up with the phone, then you'll probably see that it's running the, a different launcher. But let's check out the camera app while we're here. You can see it's got a, a wide angle right there. All right, let's go. Uh, it's got HDR. Let's go into settings here and let's see where it records. First, let's go to video. And let's see where the recording is. Shutter sound is good, video quality. 4K recording. I will hope it's got 4K recording. <laughs> you can turn your microphone off or whatever, location, you got grids. All right, then you got night vision. That's pretty dope. And then your 100 and mega, 108 megapixel is an icon for it. That is what I'm talking about. Then you got your beauty mode, which I'm not a fan of. And then you got more. You got your portrait shot, your pro sh pro shot right there. You can make GIFs, panorama, you got your mono, and your bouquet effect. All right, so we're going to uh, get out of here, and I'll show you the cameras. Oh, it's already updated. You can see my icons are now updated, so that's beast mode. We see that right there. All right. 
The brightness on this is pretty much all the way up. It's not the brightest display, but it's bright enough. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and go outside now. While well, this is still updating, it's just a little bit more. Let's show you the cameras before I get out of here. And this hardware, man, is just stupid. This is a, t <laughs> this is a tank, man. Oh, let me show you the 5G speeds real quick. Uh, let me see if it's done. It's got a few more. And I'll show you the 5G speeds and then I'll go outside. And I'll show you the Wi-Fi speeds too. Uh, so let's go into Google right here. Oh, is it updating? All right. Let's go speed test. Speed test. And I'll show you what Google is running on the Wi-Fi speeds. I have one gig up and down. Uh, and uh, it is updating something in the back, but still, these are pretty decent speeds. The Wi-Fi antennas on here are good enough. The upload speeds will probably really bang out. Um, yep, same, 200 up and down, I'll take that. I mean, um, I don't think this is Wi-Fi 6E at all, but those upload speeds is fantastic. So if I get something, I can definitely upload to YouTube with that one, no problem. Like if I decide to shoot something directly from this camera and put it up to the internet and go straight to YouTube, I won't have a problem with that. It's going straight in. So those upload speeds is, is nice. Over 300 for the upload, I'll take that. Yeah, that's that's killing. That's good. Yeah, pretty decent. Now I'll show you uh, 5G speeds. Let me make sure this is done. All right, last one. Okay, it's good. Now let's switch over to 5G. And here we go. Let's see how this 5G does. It's probably going to be kind of low, but because I normally get two to 500 in the house sometimes. Man, <laughs> oh, let's, let, me, let me see. It might still be trying to think of the um, other server for the Wi Fi. Let's see if it switches up. Can it even do it? Man. It says can't be completed due to the problem with the network. So let's, let's, let's start it again. Let's go. Oh, and, oh, oh, okay. Hold on. I got to get into my settings. Hold on. Let me, let me set the APN. Okay. So the, the APN was already set, but the dad mobile data was turned off. So, okay. So here, now we go. Let's see if we can get us back on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So let's go speed test. Yeah. The APNs were already set, uh, but the mobile data was turned off. I had to swipe down and set it. All right. So let's see if we can get something. Out. Oh yeah, baby. That's definitely, this phone is doing better than some other phones that I've tested that are kind of like, uh, overseas or not official in the U S that's dog on there almost as fast as my Wi-Fi in here. Now, obviously the upload speeds on T-Mobile inside the house for me are not the best, but that's a pretty good dog on test for download speeds for this dog on device, man. That's pretty strong right there. It came out swinging. I'm surprised that it banged out a 5G speed like that and then the download speed. I'm I'm shocked. That's what's up, man. Wasn't expecting that. Hmm. That upload speed though. So I can get T-Mobile upload speeds of up to 80 to 100, just not inside my house sometimes. It also depends on the device. But at least we know that this is working. All right, so that's good. Now, let me show you the cameras. Oh, wait, let's check for bloatware. No bloatware. Let's get it. Okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> so here is what it looks like on the back. I wasn't able to crack the back panel there, but the screen actually took a huge hit and it is done for. The good part, I can still get the footage off of the phone because it still technically works. So I'll plug it into my computer uh, and we'll get the footage off. <laughs> and then it's gonna be done for. I thought I was going to be able to use this for a while, but man, I didn't even make it through the unboxing portion and full test. You can see the screen. It hit on that corner right there and it just shattered. So let's get my SIM card out. There we go. I was going to do a water test, um, but I won't be able to do a water test because the phone is completely destroyed at this point. But Nonetheless, this was a good challenge for me. Um, and as you can see here, all rugged phones are not always rugged, but I really took this one through the paces. Like I really, I destroyed this thing, man. I mean, that wasn't my intent, just so you know. I wasn't planning on destroying it like that. I really thought it was gonna survive, to be honest. Um, but you can see there's some things going on there. So I need to hurry and try to get this footage off of here and get rid of this phone before this battery explodes on me. Anyways, your man Jay, drop test, 
Doogie V Max. It can take some damage, but obviously the way I was tossing it, no one's going to actually toss their phone like that over and over and over again. Uh, but it can take several drops. We know that for a fact. It's your man Jay. I'll see you in the next video. I hope I can salvage this footage off of this phone before I toss it. It's your man Jay. See you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this one. All right, guys. Uh, quick update. I was not able to salvage the footage, but I can guarantee <laughs> I can guarantee that the cameras are actually phenomenal on this device, but it did not survive. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it. Um, yeah, it was, it was worth the shot. Maybe I should have got the footage off before I... <laughs> Did the drop test. I really thought it was going to survive, though. I really, I honestly did. Um, but what what can you do? Anyway, it's your man Jay. This is the Doogee V Max. Partially survived. Cameras are great, too. I really wish I would have got that footage off.